What's up guys, it's Deadaim Headshot. I'm going to show you the new Vodge uh, capture software and pretty much how to set it up and everything. Uh, this will be for the PS3 and the Xbox. And we're going to go, when you go to the Vodge website, just Google HTTPVR2 or go to hopodge.com and click on products. We click on products, you want to click on, um, actually no, I'm sorry, click on support and click on HTTPVR2 and go over to add-ons and always check this too because they'll they add new stuff all the time and the add-ons you're going to get is the hopodge capture um, click here for the download link click there and then you'll download it right here and once you have that downloaded install it and once you do that you'll be good to go and you'll open it up and it'll look like this it'll set it up where you can press the button and record with this uh, here you click and check your device which I have the HTTP over PVR2 which is full of, is what this was built for this is most compatible with that they are working on compatibility with the original HTTPVR um, it's pretty cool you can like type your file name like if I'm recording from Black Ops 2 I just type in my file name here and then click record and it go ahead go ahead and records it as that file file name and if you say I record for a few seconds I stop it goes back to default I just type in whatever else uh, you can also change your input here so if you're on Xbox you're gonna go through HDMI and that'll stop the input on this side because I have my PS3 on and if you're on PS3 obviously go component and whatever your audio input is right here um, the coolest feature so far is the microphone input right here so you can choose what input you want on here? Um, I'm I'll use I'm recording right now with my um, headset, which is the PDP audio device. But normally I, I'll have to record with my webcam because I have my PDP hooked into my PlayStation talking. So you will still need two microphones. Um, or if you're recording on a laptop, maybe your laptop has a built-in microphone. You're gonna want something that doesn't pick up a lot of noise, which I shouldn't be using my webcam mic because my webcam mic does pick up a lot of background noise. I need to get something like a Blue Snowball, which I eventually will, just don't have the money for it yet. Um, you change your mic gain right here. So if you have this up, it's gonna pick up a lot more background noise, but just try to make sure it's leveled out to where, and listen, like record a few test videos before you record a really important video to make sure you get your sound level right on this. And you're gonna to wanna to change your sound in game too. Like if you have a, your gunfire and Call of Duty up really loud, you're not gonna be able to hear. Um, and down here is where you change your quality. Um, the higher you set this, the bigger the file will be. I recorded for three hours just now and the file ended up being like uh, 14 gigabytes or something. Oh, let me check. Uh, game video capture. Um, I can't remember where I set it to record. I think it records in your videos. Well, yeah, that's, here it is. Um, It recorded at 13 gigabytes, 13.7 gigabytes for three hours at 11 megabytes per second. So if that'll help you figure out where you're going to do that, you could probably boost, go down. I wouldn't go up to full 14. Um, I, honestly, I could probably bump mine down to 10, and I'd be fine. But I just have it on 11 for some reason. You can click on Advanced here and go through. and do your scaling and encoding I usually just leave that as is um, so that's this part right here the capture and you can you can click this button down here and do a screenshot so I want to screenshot what's on my screen right now and right here's your volume for what's going to be playing through your computer uh, I have it down because when I play I don't want it coming out because I sit at my computer while I'm playing so I can't have that double sound otherwise my microphone will pick it up instead of my voice um, you've got the edit part right here so when you get your video in here when you're recording with your microphone that you've set up right here you can also mute your mic by pressing this by the way um, you'll have them it'll be as a TS file so you'll need to click on the file you're gonna use you can edit it I don't edit in here I haven't tried it yet it might not be as bad as ArcSoft I use Sony Vegas um, you can also it, upload to YouTube and stuff. Uh, I click export and it exports it as an MP4 which is what Vegas will use and a lot of other 
uh, editors will use. But really, you could edit it in here now because the main reason I use Vegas for is was splicing my audio, my voice audio, with the video, which this keeps it in sync pretty good so far from what I've seen. Um, but if you want to export that, just click on export. I haven't tried uploading directly to YouTube yet, so I'm not sure how all of this works. But I'm sure you have to sign into your YouTube account. This sand is too long. All right, if in the stream, this is, since they added the microphone in the stream, uh, I believe will be better too. Um, of course, you're going to need a decent internet connection. Which uh, my upload bandwidth is only two megabytes a second, so uh, my uh, my live streaming isn't that great. Uh, you're going to select your mic input and your gain and I'm not sure. I haven't tested how well it keeps the audio together. I just know it's great that it has the microphone input. That is going to help out with delay and everything. You'll sign into your Twitch account right here and choose where. You'll sign in by clicking if you're going to do Twitch or Ustream. Hopefully one day they'll upload put YouTube on here, but I don't know. Um, just click on your sign in. You'll if you're doing a new one like a login, it'll pop up right here. I'm just going to stay in mine, and then you choose your location. You're going to want to choose the one closest to you, and I usually choose the secondary because less people are on it, so it'll go a little faster. And you just click stream, and then it'll stream directly to where you're at. And then you can also go down here, and if you see something you want to take a screenshot of while you're in the stream, click that right there, and you'll save the screenshot. And then here's your settings. This is where you're going to set to where you record to, which I do need to change that because I don't record to my videos settings. I record to um, a specific folder, which I can change that later. Or now. <laughs> and then you can set up your screenshot directory wherever you want it. Um, I usually leave hardware acceleration on. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the full detail of that you know does. I've never had any issue with it, so I just leave it. Um, you can download the Hapage Personal Logo Maker also from back here, which uh, I believe might be included on the disc now. I'm not sure. If not, it's under add-ons. You can go over here and download Streamies separately, which I do not believe Streamies has the um, microphone hooked up into it if you download it separately. So you're going to want the capture. And here it is. Personal logo application. You'll go in there and you'll make your logo. And then you'll be able to go back in here and show your personal logo, which I don't do that. Um, if you're afraid somebody's going to steal your videos, it's good to have. You can make it transparent, I guess. Yeah, right here. You can, can transparent it. Um, I don't use it. I'm not too worried about anybody stealing my videos. Um, I'm not that great at the gameplay, so I know they're not going to steal it for gameplay. And I know my own voice, so I'm sure I could be like, yo, that's my voice. <laughs> But anyways, yeah, this this is a thousand times better than what you had with ArcSoft. It makes, you know, it, I was getting to the point with the way ArcSoft was crashing, I would have told you, don't buy it. Um, don't buy the HTTP VR2 because of ArcSoft, because they are a third-party type thing. They're not, par they're not really with Papage, they're just the go-to person they've had, and I'm so glad they've ditched them because I've, I've heard so much bad shit from the original HTTP VR with ArcSoft crashing. It's about time they went and did their own first-party capture program, which is what this is. And their modules so far are pretty great. Like, I'm very happy with how the edit and the streamies uh, is working. Uh, my only issue is I need a better upload connection than that. <laughs> And the record, everything records at a really pretty decent quality. Um, my my voice quality isn't great when I recorded testing it because, I, like I said, I used my webcam <laughs> instead of a good mic, which I, I need to get a new one. But, yeah, once you download that and set up your mics, you'll need two mics, like I said before. Uh, make sure it's in here. And make sure your mic gain's up and you're going to want to go and I think I can do this through the preview actually um, 
just a reminder of how you're going to set up your t TV. Go to accessory settings, audio device settings. Um, you're going to have your mic set up right here. You're going to have your output device though, not as the same as your as your um, microphone. You're going to have it come out through your TV right here like this. And then what you're going to do is either turn your TV down or use headphones like I use um, in the either the audio output of the TV or the my head uh, headset output of the TV, which will obviously the the reason for that is is you don't want your TV blaring really loud gunshots while you're recording your voice on a microphone right next to it. So otherwise, you're going to have the gunshots from the microphone recording your TV, as well as the gunshots from Hapage device, the ACPBR2 recording it. So you're going to have like a feedback from that. So you don't want that. You want your TV to be quiet. You want it to come through headsets or be muted. Um, obviously the ideal is getting headsets, which I recommend. And I'll show you real quick. I believe, I believe these are the ones I got. Um, now the the price has dropped since I bought them because they were higher, I believe, when I bought them, anyways. But uh, now you can get the eighty nine ninety nine uh, wireless, which I'm not, I haven't tried it, but I know the wired works with everything. Um, you can use it on the Xbox, on your PlayStation, on the Wii, on the uh, on your cell phone. It's got every hookup you could possibly need. It's the awesome headset. I mean, it's got 50 millimeter, 50 millimeter drivers. Um, uh, the only thing I wish it had was surround sound. Um, but yeah, I'm very happy with my afterglows. They really help out when I'm recording it. But yeah, I think that's about it. If you guys have any questions, uh, any more questions about this, um, hit me up. Uh, if you need to know how to set up your voice and your settings like I just showed you on the PlayStation for the Xbox uh, all you do it, it's all in my previous video on voice chat just do the exact same thing you did with how you had your voice coming out of the TV or you had your voice chat coming out of the TV of like your other players and it, the Hapage will record them while your voice will be recorded through the other microphone which is right here on the Hapage thing so that makes it so much simpler to have this right here even though you do still have to have a second mic it makes it a thousand times simpler to have it built in so it already is lined up but uh... the only thing I really wish it, and I haven't tested it out yet because I haven't thrown a video into Vegas is if it recorded to a different channel so you have your voice recording separate from the game recording. Hopefully it does that because that'll make it easier to keep the voice chat separated from the game volume. Alright guys, that's the end of this video. Um, I'm going to put in the video above links to my social accounts like my Twitter and Facebook and all that and if you could leave a like on this video that would help me out a whole lot and appreciate it.